Okay, we're back on Grim Nasty TV. And I'm going to discuss today's progress and just progress in general. And uh, here we go. All right, so this energy here represents chi energy. Feels like it's out of your face and out of your chest. Uh, I get a lot of that whenever I drink turpentine. I'll take sips of it up to about a tablespoon up to three times a day, usually. And whenever your pineal gland comes out more, all of this comes out together and separates itself. It breaks open. The skull seems like those little fracture lines, like they stretch open or something, like the skull expands or something like that, or the muscles do. And uh, this kind of shatters. When this comes out, it makes you feel like your buck teeth... <laughs> Like uh, Austin Powers, like you feel like you got these buck teeth and you can't really lose them because it's a new sensation, I presume, that makes that more apparent. And then if you pull it out far enough, you'll realize uh, basically just turning your head and putting your tongue up there and it raises the, the trigger that has the DMT and it pushes all this up and it pushes this up, which makes these fall out, literally like they fall out and the ears pop out. And that is the Hitchhiker's Guide ear. You don't really have eardrums. Uh, they also call that the tympanic membrane. It's just a glue sack. Mine's already coming undone. It's just an itchy glue sack. That's all it is. And uh, I've gone past those now. So I'm, I'm up in the cleaning out a lot of glue. And uh, today I went so far that it just literally comes dripping out of my ear, which is what that represents. It'll literally come pouring out once you get so hot that it, it uh, can't contain itself. It just starts to melt away. All right, so another important factor is that uh, there seems to be some kind of Smurf top. Uh, after I went up that far, I pushed this out today, and it was like a little Smurf top. Like it was, uh, I see a lot of the trees, they have those, and the Ghostbusters character has it, and I've seen a lot of doodles and sheets and blankets to have those. So it's probably relative to the cone coming out, perhaps. That's what it felt like today, and it still kind of feels like that. It's to the side, over to the right side of my head right now. But it's sticking out kind of like that. So tomorrow I will push even further, and even further, and even further. So here's the thing I want to talk to you about. This is the most important thing, is uh, this little O thing. I think... And I'm pretty sure is that when you start feeling like this is raising up, you uh, seem to mathematically go much further in feet distance than your uh, head feels. So it seems that you're you're raising your kundalini or whatever up so high, but in reality, it's going way up to the sun from what I'm gathering. And uh, there's an O part where I can almost tell that that's like a gateway because whenever I do this DMT thing, um, reality starts to dither itself like, like it's, uh, like it's fading away and it's, it's like a melting away or something. When that happens, I get this really hardcore, like, uh, like, uh, like you got to hang on to like, you're on like a 747 or something and you're about to like blast off or whatever the fuck. Like you got to hang on to something because it's such a rush that it makes you like fucking just like you just lose everything. Like you don't even realize kind of like real DMT, but like three or four times more intense. Like I'm telling you, like you're literally teleporting into another dimension. So I go all the way up there. I got about an inch and a half. It starts feeling weird. I pull it out. I keep turning head, put the tongue on the roof of the, of the, uh, the mouth or whatever. And it brings this little trigger out. And then the trigger connects to this. And this pushes out. And everything pushes up and out. This thing gets into that whole area. You got a couple times of doing it before you deplete your DMT supply for the day or for the few hours. If you can get it to go all the way through there and then you get disoriented. Like you don't even know what the hell's going on anymore. Like you're just like, what's, what is, what's real? What's, what are you talking about? So uh, you go through that. And I'm pretty sure I've got a strong hunch that that is the hole that you go through. And then you come out the other side. But you just got to get through it 
and be in it and then let it go like a slingshot. So you're just kind of like in reverse, but then it snaps, but then you shoot forward instead of uh, instead of it going back theoretically like a real slingshot would. But it's like in reverse. So that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm going into this portal, and once I finally got in there, you get so disoriented, sometimes you want to pull back. But that's the thing is that uh, you got to get used to it. So when you get up in there, you just keep going forward. And I'm pretty sure it's a hole. And as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and compare that to one moment that I stared in the sun. And it was really hot outside. It was when it was uh, like around in the hundreds and stuff. And I burnt a hole in my vision. And I looked through it. And uh, I could see the fourth dimension. And I could see uh, silhouettes of characters walking. And they looked like they were pretty much just cartoons. Pretty much. It was like a, a tear in the in that. And then uh, one of them stopped and looked like they were trying to look through it or something. But it was they were so dark I couldn't uh I couldn't tell any details. They just had mostly like silhouettes, kinda like this walking, but they were like bears and animatrophic like beings that were like animal hybrids. You could tell they're just cartoon characters. Like that's pretty much what it looked like. So I'm pretty sure with that and with this, that there's some kind of hole that I started playing around with. And once you get there, it just makes you feel like, holy shit, like, uh, like, hey, reality is coming undone. Deal with it. Like, that's pretty much what it is. So you get used to that somehow. And then you go up through there again. And I'm presuming if I do this tomorrow, I might actually be able to go to the other side of that. And then that'll be it. Well, for now, then then I would have to come back. But if you do this, that's basically the Matrix O. Remember when he was like, ah, in the beginning of Resurrections? That's exactly what it's like. It's exactly like that. Um, you actually sound like a robot. When that shit comes out, it tastes like uh, some kind of mechanical, natural, organic uh, oil fluid for an engine. It's really just... Why does DMT taste like engine oil for humans? Like, it just doesn't even make any sense. So when the shit comes out, you push it all the way, you know, as far as you can, and you have an experience, and it takes you into another dimension, pretty much. So I'm going to try to see the merits of that and the validity of that compared to all the stuff that I've seen with that hole that I burned that temporarily lasted to this sensation of a hole to the intro to Matrix Resurrections and uh Jack Deeb's uh so all that together it's like uh he comes out of the sun he went into the sun using DMT from indulging his fantasies alone so once you i know this is getting kind of like long winded but i'm basically saying that there's no spoon so there's no space between spaces there's no spoon either so once you realize that, it's like the same uh, as indulging your fantasies and opening up the gateway. It doesn't matter if you're calcified or not. You just got to take a thousand different ways to break out and take one and make it and go all the way with it. But uh, if you're like me, you'll try all kinds of shit and you'll just keep doing all those different things until eventually you get to the point to where you just know that it's just going to happen. Then it's like, uh, oh, this is going to happen. Like, there's nothing I can do about it anymore. Oh, shit. What the fuck do I do? Simple as that. You attack it from all angles, the feet, the hands, the eyes, the ears, everywhere. Drink it down. Get it into your solar plexus. Scour the fucking root chakra and your colon clean. Get all that shit out. Get all that glue out. And blast off. Welcome to Grim Nasty TV.